Hey everybody, Mr. Kaczynski here. IXL Algebra 1, Section Double B is Quadratic Equations. Uh, in this video, we're going to graph quadratic functions in vertex form. Honestly, I had a lot of fun working through this skill on IXL. Uh, quick reminder, and this was in my last video as well in this section, a uh, vertex form of a quadratic equation looks like that. The A value controls vertical stretching and shrinking, actually, for that matter. I should have put that and reflections over the x-axis. That h value right there controls horizontal translations and that k value will tell us a lot about vertical translations. Alright, so here we go. Um, this one here is the parent function, okay? f of x equals um, x squared. That's just a... it's got a vertex of 0, 0. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Okay, so I guess we we just start with the vertex. We plot that first right there at 0, 0. It hasn't been horizontally or vertically translated. And then this ratio right here is all about the vertical stretch of 1. Okay, so this 1 right here shows up right there with that up 1 over 1. Okay. And we're going to move on. I got a lot of examples. I had a tough time narrowing it down. So here we go. Uh, this one, again, it has not been vertically translated or uh, horizontally translated at all. There's no addition or subtraction in here at all. So our vertex is at 0, 0. However, this 5 right here, that indicates our vertical stretch. All right, let's see what that looks like. Up 5 before it goes to the right one. That's what that vertical stretch looks like, okay? Or up five before it goes to the left one. It's, it's that simple. So identify the vertex and then use the vertical stretch to find the next point. Here we go on another one. Um, so this one, the A value is negative. So not only has it been vertically stretched by a scale factor of seven, uh, but it's been reflected over the x-axis as well. That's what that means. Okay, so again, hasn't been ver um, horizontally or vertically uh, translated at all, but it has been stretched and reflected. Okay, so it's going down now. That's what the negative means. And the scale factor that it's been stretched by is 7. So it's gone down 7 before it goes right 1 or left one for that matter, because the axis of symmetry is x equals zero. All right, so we're flying through examples here, already onto my fourth example. This one finally has been translated a little bit, okay? That negative nine right there um, tells us that it's been translated, the parent function, y equals x squared, has been translated down nine units. So the vertex is at zero, negative nine, way down here, all right? Then it's been vertically stretched by a scale factor of 8. All right, so what's that look like? Okay, up 8 before it goes to the right or left 1. All right, so identify that vertex been translated nine units down, and then do the vertical stretch. All right, this is almost exact opposite, okay? Now, it's been translated up nine units, so that's way up here, okay? Um, it's also, and some would argue that it's actually been done in the reverse order. It was actually uh, vertically stretched by a scale factor of eight, and then reflected, and then translated up. And, and I would agree with them, but when we actually graph it, we're probably going to look at it opposite, okay? So there's our vertex at 0, 9, because it's been translated 9 units up. Then the vertical stretch and the reflection, okay? It's going to be pointing down and um, stretched out by a scale factor of 8. So that negative 8 tells us from the 9 to go down to 1. 8 minus 9 is 1, and then we can go to the right one. All right, so now we've got one um, that has been, well, we know that that means 1 up, a translation 1 unit up. What about this positive 7 right there? Remember that since vertex form says um, 
that subtraction right there. This is actually minus a negative seven. So it's actually a translation seven units left and one unit up. So that's gonna be a vertex right there at negative seven, positive one. In fact, I'm gonna write that down. Vertex is at negative seven, positive one. All right, it's vertex form. Then there hasn't been any verticals stretching or reflecting here. In fact, uh, I'll put a one in right there. Okay, this, so the scale of vertical stretch is one. So that means just go up one and right one. And there's our next point. All right, just one more example here. Um, first of all, let's identify the vertex. Okay, that's the first thing we want to do. The vertex here is actually at 5, negative 4. 5, negative 4. All right, so I'm going to plot that point. 5 to the right, 4 down. And then this 1 third is really tough. You know, 1 half would be easy. We just plot 1 half. But the 1 third doesn't really work that way. So I'm going to actually have to show some work here. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to plug... 8 into this equation. Why am I going to plug 8 into that equation? Because I know it'll give me 3 inside the parentheses. All right, and then 3 will be divisible by that 3 on the outside. That's why. Um, well, it's actually not going to be 3. It's going to be um, 9 by the time I square it. But still, it'll be divisible by um, 3. So then we get 1 third of 9 minus four and one third of nine is uh, three and three minus four is negative one. So when we put eight in, we get negative one out. That's a point eight, negative one. That's gonna be the next point that I plot. There's a lot of other points in between there, but they're all fractions. So again, why did I choose eight? because I knew that would give me three inside the parentheses and then nine would be divisible by three. I know that's a little complicated, but this doesn't show up until you get up to a SMART score of about 85 was as soon as I saw it. So, all right, so there's that eight negative one. So notice that is a vertical shrink, not a vertical stretch with that value right there, all right? Okay, so actually I went through them pretty fast. Like I said, it's it's fun to mess around with this one in IXL. So good luck in there. Let me know how it goes in the comments, and um, maybe I can be helpful in there for you.